He just said, I could die. I could have died. I could have died. Dina Jackson's son Zachary came to that realization after days in the hospital. Dina says he was out with friends early Sunday morning when he walked out of the 7-Eleven on Old Telegraph Road in Hanover. The next thing he knew, he's being swooped under a car, you know, and all under the car and, and just his whole body. And his friend said to him, you know, his friend said, Zachary, wake up, wake up. And he, d he couldn't hear anything. He was like in shock. Dina says he has broken ribs, a broken collarbone, and second degree burns all over his body from being dragged under the car. Anne Arundel County police say the whole incident started in the parking lot of Cancun Cantina across the street. They say 33 year old Adam Wolford got into a fight with a group of people, then got into his Jeep and repeatedly rammed their SUV while they were inside. Charging documents state he then drove through the 7-Eleven parking lot and hit three other people, including Jackson, who happened to be walking out of the store. Police arrested Wolford and charged him with driving while impaired, assault and reckless endangerment. I just wanted to make sure that people don't drink and drive. I don't want them to drink and drive and know that people, everybody's lives matter. She says Zachary is about to start his senior year at Towson University. She doesn't know exactly what his road to recovery will look like, but these injuries are jeopardizing his future plans. He's a lifeguard and he um, teaches tennis. So this summer was all about paying for next year's school and it's not happening. She hopes Wolford is held accountable, but also gets the help he needs. I don't wish negative. I don't have a hate bone in my body for him. Not at all. But I do want justice. Tonight, Walford is being held without bail. Reporting live, Kim Dacey, WBAL, TV 11 News.